Hi everyone, welcome back, I hope things go well. It has been a long time that I was talking about making of a Minecraft PE permissions plugin. Finally, I managed to squeeze in some time and make this happen. The name of the plugin is called Basic Permissions or Basic Perms. The main features I put on this release, including management of player permissions and per world protections, and more. I think we all know what is permission. It's easy to understand security feature. Control what operation is allow and not allow, but I find it's harder to explain in context of Minecraft Pocket Edition server, Pocket Mine usage, and usage within custom plugins. How is the permission node format looks like? Start with root node dot then follow up with optional parent node and optional child node. For example, Time command has permission node pocket mind that command dot time to allow player executor this command and administrator grant this permission node to a player. If you grant root node access to player, then this means player has access to all subsequent parent child nodes. No, be careful. If you don't want to give all access to player, rather use more specific node. A node basically refers to which slash command you are giving or restricting access to. By adding a permissions node you give access to that particular command. Why is hard to explain Minecraft permission? First, Minecraft server does not provide a tool for players or developer to manage permissions. This makes harder for server administrators to manage the server plugin permissions and player permissions. Then the biggest challenges for server administrators is how to avoid permission conflict. Once you install few more plugins then no easy way to find out permission conflict between these plugins. Problem leave to server administrator to or developer figure out when conflict happen. For custom plugin, developer set the permission inside the plugin email file. Unfortunately, plugin email is not accessible to administrators. The workaround is ask developer to provide documentation of the permissions create the plugin, or use my new basic permission plugin plugin permission command to extract from the plugin file. Permissions node usually have default values for example, basic burden is the root of default to OP access, while child node can have own default values such as OP, like parent, not up, or true or false. True means give player access by default. By default pocket mine server come with a set of permission nodes with default values. Example for pocket mine command slash time the node pocket mine is the root node, command is the parent node, and time is the child node. With default value to OP access. Basic permissions usage. Scenario number one let's say you download a plugin, S has no knowledge of the permissions settings, to list plugin permissions. Run command slash x plugin perm plugin name, example slash x plugin perm armor spawn. In this case, this plugin has root permission node armor spawn with default value to false, then child node of call armor spawn receive set to true by default, so, no need for administrator to give this permission node to player. Basic permissions usage. Scenario number 2, per world permissions with option to, disable PvP, block break and block place anti-built. Step slash commands. Step 1 Create a world record using Zad World World name, example slash Zad World World. Step 2 Disable PvP using command slash Disable PvP World name, example slash Disable PvP World. Or Step 3 Disable Block Break using command slash Disable Block Break World name, example slash Disable Block Break World. Or Step 4 Disable Block Place using command slash Disable Block Place World name. Examples slash visible block place world to view and world settings slash scroll world name
for demo purpose I use world to represent a protected lobby, and another world islands without protection. So far all seem to be working well. Basic permissions usage. Scenario number 3, give a permissions node to user. Slash user perm user name perm node value, there are 4 valid values, up, not up, true or false. Sample, slash user perm steve pocket mind dot command dot time true. When this take effect. When user log into the server. On this demo, I will try to grant a pocket mind time command permission node. However, in order for permission to take effect, I have to log out first then log in for some reason anyhow, it seemed to working well. So, are we done, after assign a permission node to player? The answer is no, or depends, the enforcement of the permission is fall back to developer to ensure it works, and avoid conflict if possible. There are a lot more usages scenarios we can talk about, however, for this video I would like just cover the most frequent asked questions. In future video, I will cover the rest of the commands. There are lots of the commands are reserved for future use. That's it for today, thanks again for watching, I hope you find this useful. If you like future updates then subscribe to this channel. Bye, have a good day.